is Wednesday, December 10th, 2014. I'm Justin Hunt. This is DX Daily. Up first, first week numbers are in for J. Cole's 2014 Forest Hill Drive. His daily double projects that Cole will sell somewhere between 240,000 and 270,000 units in its first week, which would be good enough to secure hip hop's strongest debut of the year, just ahead of Rick Ross's Mastermind, which debuted at 179,000, and Eminem's Shady 15, which debuted at 130,000. This is the second best first week showing of Cole's career. His 2013 offering, Born Center, debuted selling 297,000 copies in his first week. Check the review on hiphopdx.com. We gave it four out of five X's. Hit the comment section and let us know what you think about the project. In Bone Thug news, DX was on hand for the screening of Crazy Bone's upcoming series, Backstage. The show follows the struggles of four MCs from St. Louis as they attempt to become rap superstars. The project is loosely based on Bone Thugs and Harmony. Here's Crazy describing why the show is set in St. Louis. Roll the clip, James. You know, with everything that's going on, down in Ferguson, Missouri, and you know, like, it just seemed like the right time. I think like, that's the, that's like the realest place to be right now. You know what I'm saying? Because there's so much going on. You know, I just, I just think like, as, as part of the Midwest, I didn't, I didn't want it to make it Cleveland because it'd be like too, too cliche. So yeah, I wanted, to, I wanted the group to be different, but like, you know, like, but, but project the same experiences that we went through as a group. And so people, what happens when you really get big as a group is like, these dudes go through some shit within the series, but it's like, like, like some twists and turns you would never imagine, but it, it's, it's, it's what really happens in life, you know what I'm saying? So it's gonna be real interesting. Now Crazy held the screening in Beverly Hills last night. He plans to shop the show to various networks. Look out for Backstage coming soon. Wrapping up, Puff Daddy delivered an inspired speech last night to the Revolt staff during the company's Christmas party. Let's take a look. Roll the clip, James. Man, this is a, a, a very reflective time, a time that is um, it's, it's impossible to not count your blessings. There's a lot going on in the world, and it's, to me, it's, it's no coincidence that the name of this company is called Revolt. Right now we are in a cultural revolution. We are in a very important time. We are in a time of change. My dream of this network, most importantly this brand, because it's not just a network, was to be a part of the change. Through music, through culture, through our relationships with all communities to be disruptive, to be fresh, to be new, to be able to push the envelope, to be able to embrace artists, to be able to put people on, to be able to put young executives on, young creatives on, give them a chance for people to listen to them so they can change the world. The dream has just started. Our first year has been a tremendous success. If you look at the history of just brands in general. And I want to tell y'all thank y'all for that. Give yourselves a round of applause. Make some noise. Times they are a changing. Let us know what you think of Diddy's address. And if you're interested in Diddy's reported confrontation with Drake, check the site. Those are today's most interesting hip hop headlines. Let us know what you think about in the comments section. And as always, for more music and news, visit hiphopdx.com.